Ocean Society of Landscape Painters is uh, 101 years old now, uh, founded in 1913, which actually was the same year as the Armory Show, which is sometimes considered as the sort of uh, springing off point for modern art in America. And so uh, the timeless traditions uh, uh, have developed in parallel with lots of experimentation in art. Uh, the first 80 years scarcely count because it was, I think, only 1993 that women were allowed. <laughs> <laughs> they were very stupid up until that point. Not that women were stupid. No, no, the women were stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll well, invite you. Barry, Barry, the real problem was we gave the right to vote in 1919. Now we see what happens. There's a poster. Uh, that, that talks about some of the details in the history. I'll mention only briefly that uh, it got started with two guys uh, who were each painting in Rock Creek Park. Uh, they had such a good time, they formed a club called the Ramblers uh, to get out and paint together. It became the Landscape Club of Washington shortly after that and became uh, more formally established with uh, outings to paint, uh, luncheons, and exhibitions together. The, they maintained uh, uh, sketchbooks, notebooks of all of their activities illustrated with uh, nice line drawings. And the archives now uh, in the Smithsonian archives, uh, and we're keeping them up to date with current activities. So it's a, it's a, a grand tradition. The uh, club differs from uh, some art societies in a couple of ways. Uh, uh, first of all, it is limited membership. By charter, it's 40 members. Uh, and we usually have, let's say, an order of 10 members who are candidates uh, who paint along with the members and uh, aspire eventually to become uh, full members. Uh, the painting along is a very crucial thing. This is another way in which the uh, organization differs somewhat. Uh, all the members uh, paint out at least twice a year together <coughs> with other members. Uh, have critiques as, as part of each painting session, as well as formal business meetings and annual banquet. So the, uh, I, some of these paintings may actually have been done from the same scene at the same time. Uh, uh, although I think most members try to pull a, a, a favorite painting for this nice, nice setting, so you may not see uh, what's actually a lot of fun where you see a number of different interpretations of the same subject. I'll mention just a couple of other things. Uh, uh, painting in plein air, uh, which meets outdoors from the scene, uh, really traces its main history uh, to 1841, when the collapsible metal paint tube was invented and patented by an American portrait painter, which for the first time made it simple to take uh, the paints on location. And uh, following that, you had the, uh, the Barbizon School in, in France especially, and uh, so uh, 100, approaching 170, 160, over 160 years of tradition where materials were available that made it easy, to, relatively easy, uh, to <laughs> on location. And uh, uh, all of the members of the Washington Society of Landscape Painters uh, do paint on location as well as in the studio. Uh, and I think uh, probably everyone feels the same as I that if you uh, even if you do more elaborate studio paintings, uh, if you stay very long away from painting directly from the outside, you feel it withered and just awful. That's <laughs> a bad situation. Especially withered. <laughs> uh, the, and we also, I think, all share the feeling that part of being an artist is to want to make beautiful objects and make them well made. Uh, so that, uh, the work is, uh, differs from work which uh, emphasizes the conceptual side of art, uh, because I think we all just love to do stuff with stuff. Uh, each of these paintings uh, is three things at the same time. Uh, first of all, I hope you'll agree that each is a beautiful object. You should appreciate the texture of the paint. Uh, uh, for the watercolors, the, the grain of the paper or the the uh, revealed edge of the paper, that uh, this is an object that was uh, made with fun and passion and love. Uh, 
at the same time that uh, each is a representation of something. It uh, uh, seeks to evoke some experience of being in a place on a certain kind of day. And then finally, each has a backstory. Uh, you know, what was really going on on that day, uh, if there's some sort of implied narrative in the painting, uh, uh, what that narrative is. Uh, and you as a doer, and we welcome all the viewers, will become a part of that elaborate backstory of the painting. Uh, if the painting echoes especially with you, you'll bring something of your own to its backstory. So uh, as you look around the exhibit, uh, uh, be sure if you can identify the painter here, ask us about our backstories. <laughs> we mostly love to talk as well. <laughs> uh, I'll stop and uh, again uh, uh, toast the setting, uh, 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 refreshments, uh, the fellow painters and especially the viewers, uh, and uh, also the camaraderie and shared growth in painting that we all enjoy together as members of the Washington Society of Landscape Painters.